name of Jesus, I thank you because of this word. Lord, take away my word, Jesus, and fill me with your word, with your Holy Spirit, Lord. My Father, let yourself be champion through this word, God. In Jesus' name, I do pray to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Job, chapter 1, that there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. And he was an upright and an, a, a blameless man who feared God and he did good. Praise God. He did what God wanted him to do. Praise Jesus. You will never find this man doing negative. Kinyume na neno la Mungu bwana Yesu sifiwe ama kinyume na lile ambalo Mungu anataka afanye bwana Yesu sifiwe that's why god is considering him as an upright man a blameless man who feared god praise jesus praise the living god that job was very rich he had seven sons and seven daughters 700 7000 sheep praise god yani job had everything Praise Jesus. He had everything. I can even deny Jesus because now I have everything. Praise God. But God did not deny Jesus because of these things. Because he knew that these things are of, are of this world. He knew that all these things, the time will come, they can go. God can take them away. That's why if we continue reading the Bible saying that a time came that his sons and daughters they were taken away. Praise God. His sheep were taken away. Everything that Job had were taken away. Praise Jesus. And this was a time when Job was sick. Praise God. Praise Jesus. You see that you are undergoing situ a very hard situation. But I tell him that everything that you have, now it goes. Now you just remain with nothing. You see that it is a very hard situation. What is happening in my life? You will start questioning God. You will start asking God questions. You will you will start telling God that God, everything that I'm doing unto you, this is what you have just decided to do unto me, to take away all my children, to take away all my richness, all my property. Praise God. But Job did not look unto that. Praise God. The Bible says as you continue to read, that when the sons and daughters when the servants of God were going to present themselves before the Lord, also Satan accompanied with him, with them, Satan was with the servants of God as they were going to present themselves before the Lord. When you are going to present yourself before the Lord, also Satan is with you. Praise Jesus. Satan is accompanied with you. He just needs you to mess up so that you can be his, his follower. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's why you see that God recognized Satan and asked him that, where have you come from? And the Bible says that Satan answered that I have been just walking up and down the earth. Praise the Lord. And you see that Jesus is asking each other that 
Have you considered my servant Job, a blameless and an upright man in the world? Praise God. Who among us shall arise and Jesus to see Satan and say, that have you considered my servant Houston an upright and a blameless man in the earth? Praise Jesus. Because God has considered Job and you that God is his job is his servant. Now this is the time that God now you want to fight for Job because you know that Satan is there and he is going to do bad things, pray the living God. Because you know that the works of a Satan that he does, it is not good works but is to kill, to steal and to destroy. But the Bible says that Jesus is there. He is asking Satan, have you considered my servant Job a blameless and an upright man? Hallelujah! God is defending Job. God is now one, wants now to fight for Job. He now wants to see the faith of Job. Hallelujah! Praise the living God. As you continue to read from verse 10, going downwards, the Bible says that everything that Job had, they were taken away. When it was and now Job is sick, pray the living God. But now he, he had nothing. The only thing that Job was left with, it is his wife. But it shall see fear. Praise the living God. You have just been left by your wife alone. Praise the living God. But a time will come. The wife also is start speaking negative to God. But Job will stand firm because he knows that God is the mighty man of war. He knows that God is the only man who can save his life. He is the only man who can run to. He is the only man who we can lift up our eyes and look unto. Praise the living God. Because no man in this earth can help your life. Praise God. No man can help you in this earth. But only if you can include God, then everything shall become possible. If you shall include God in everything that you want in life, then believe that everything is possible. Hallelujah. If you shall include God, if you shall walk as per the word of God, if you shall do according to the word of God, according to what God wants you to do, then Jesus is ready to fight for you. Hallelujah. God is able to fight for your battle. But let us see him. I want to urge you, my brothers and sisters who are here, it doesn't matter the hardship that you are undergoing, but stand firm in the word of God because a time will come that Jesus will fight for you. Because a time will come, God will deliver you because the suffering that we are suffering for, we are suffering from this present time. Also, Jesus Christ suffered. When it was it is not considered as how even Jesus Christ suffered. The bonus of Sifir. Man appear a little seca at a kutushin, the bonus of But even small temptations make us to run away from Jesus Christ. Bonus of Sifir. Kitukidoko tina tufanya tukaweze ku tengana na mungu. But the Bible says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Praise the living God. When you cry unto Jesus, when you cast all your burdens unto God, then God is able to listen unto you. Then God is able to hear your cry. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Job chapter 2 verse 9, and his wife told Job, but why can you deny this Jesus? Praise God. 
But why can't you leave Jesus? Because I cannot see what he's doing in your life. Now see your condition. You are about to die. You have nothing. You had a lot of things. But now you don't have. Why can't you deny Jesus? Praise God. Praise Jesus. People will come unto your life. Your friends will also make you to deny Jesus. Your friends will make you to turn your ways from God. But let's just see you. They shall tell you that I've been seeing you going to church. But why you receive salvation? Problem have become part of your life. Each and every time you have been crying. Each and every time. I have never seen you prospering, but I want to tell you, a time is coming that God will deliver you. I want to declare that the God of Job will deliver you. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how a ship you are going, it doesn't matter the hardship you are going through, but Jesus will deliver you. Praise the Lord. I want to tell the church that it doesn't matter. I believe that last time we suffered the Lord a lot. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. But I want to tell you that as much as we suffer, we know whom we believe in. We know our Creator, the mighty man of war, who is able to save us, who is able to deliver our church. He will be able to deliver us. It doesn't matter. We suffer for our year. But I want to tell you, the time is now. The time has come that God needs to deliver us. That God needs to deliver the church in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Praise Jesus. I love Jesus. Because whatever you ask from God, you shall receive. Praise God. Even if you undergo hardship, God is there for you. God is watching you. Praise the living God. Job answered that I cannot deny my Jesus. I cannot deny my God. I cannot deny the Son of Man who died on the cross and the third day he rose again. Just because of my sins, I cannot deny him. God is looking for that one person who shall stand firm in his word and say that I shall not deny Jesus. I shall not deny the word of God, but I shall live for the word of God. Hallelujah. God is just searching for that one man that will say that I cannot leave the church of Sigalagala to suffer, but I will stand in ups and downs. I shall stand with the church of Sigalagala, with the church of Sigalagala in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is just looking for that one person. Praise God. A blameless and an upright man who does things without complaining. Hallelujah. Who does things in one heart. It doesn't matter he will lose or he will gain. But he is just standing firm. For he knows whom he believes in. Hallelujah. He is God. And he answers prayers. Whenever we call unto him, he answers Praise God. Whenever we call unto the name of God, He will answer us born as if you. you know, we were not born again to suffer again. But we were born again to enjoy the goodness of God. But let's just if you but even if we shall suffer again, but we know that Jesus, the time is coming that He will deliver us again. Be 
praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Jesus. Second Timothy 2, 3, that and you are suffering as a good soldier of Christ. Praise God. We are enduring suffering because you know that we are good soldiers of Christ. Praise God. And if you are a soldier of Christ, you have to walk as the way Christ walks. Hallelujah. Praise God. You have to walk as the way Christ needs you to walk. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. To walk in an upright way, in an upright manner. But it's as if you. Praise God. You know, during this period, you know, we have aspirants who want to buy. Now they will come unto you. They need your vote. They will speak good language. But after you have given them your vote, then that is the time they change. They don't know you now. You can sleep, you can sleep with an empty stomach. You are just remembering somebody whom you gave your vote and said that I will support you. Praise the living God. But now when you call him, he doesn't even know you. Because now your number has been deleted. But I want to tell you that today, that if you believe in God, he will never disappoint you. If you put all your trust to God, he will never disappoint you. Pray the living God for the Bible says in Jeremiah, that cast is the man who depends on man. Praise God. And blessed is the man who depends on God. Job depended on God. That's why when his wife told him that, why can't you deny Jesus? He said, I cannot deny my God. Praise God. I cannot deny my church. I cannot deny my people. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, people say that these things of this world are passing. Yes, they are passing. But let them pass in our hands. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Somebody has not had this. The things of this world are passing. But let them pass through our hands. Hallelujah. Good houses will pass. But let them pass in my hands. Hallelujah. Whatever you are desiring, may you receive in Jesus' name and believe in God that you shall receive. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. I want to declare. I want to declare upon this ground that none shall deny God. That no one shall go against the will of God. That we shall live according to how God wants us to live. We shall live according to how God wants us to live. I want to declare this morning that upon this altar that no one shall go against the will of God. That no one shall deny Jesus. But we shall walk unto the way of God. Praise Jesus. Amen. We shall walk in the path of Jesus. According to how God wants. Let us be blameless people. Let us be upright. Hallelujah. People who can defend your God. If you tell somebody that Jesus reigns. That Jesus will come again. That Jesus heals. Then you start arguing. Be that person that will stand firm in the word of God and say that it is indeed true that Jesus healed. Hallelujah. Don't be a Christian who you go to go to donor. You know, sometimes you get challenges by the way. Somebody tells you that, uh, do you believe that Jesus heals? Then you say yes. 
then some questions will start arising. Wewe unajua nini kama anaponya? Ashawahi kuponya. Sasa unaona ameshakuchanganya na unasema ah ina kweli? Chenye unasema ni kweli. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. You see now you cannot even stand just to defend God the deeds of God. Banesha sifiwe. But if we are going to put God first, the way Job did, then nothing is going to be impossible. Praise God. If we are going to include God in everything that we do, then everything is going to be possible. It doesn't matter how hardship it is. It doesn't matter that it is hard even to raise just 20,000 just to raise to to register for your exam but i want to tell you we walk by faith praise god Amen. hallelujah Amen. walk by faith because god is the provider of everything praise jesus Amen. whatever you lack he is able to grant unto you praise jesus when it's a civil it doesn't matter the ups and downs that you're going through in life it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the family that you are coming from but you are the one to change your family praise god but if and only if you shall include god praise god if and only if you shall stand firm in the word of god if and only if you shall call upon the name of God that Jesus may fight for you hallelujah because you cannot make it alone you cannot do it alone but by the help of Jesus then it is possible because nothing is impossible before the Lord when it was revealed praise the living God amen praise the living God as you are coming to church begin because also satan is with you because you are coming to present yourself before the lord satan is accompanied with you hallelujah praise the lord be that person of whom god will be there to ask satan that have you considered my son have you considered my daughter you can do anything to him or her but don't tap your soul. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. God will defend you. Praise Jesus. When he was with Daniel, that is the way he will be with you. The way he was with the Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, God will be with you. The way he was with John, God will be with you when you are seeking when you cry unto Jesus and say God I need you to help me then Jesus will come unto you praise God when you cry unto Jesus and tell Jesus that my father my father I need to be an upright man I need to walk in your light then God is ready to walk with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you shall believe in God, if you shall believe in God, then God will do great things in your life. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you are going through. Buenesu sipiwe. Some of us you see that because of my family just because of my background the way it look like I cannot serve the Lord but I want to tell you that may you serve the Lord because you are the one that rejects your background because God wants to use you Hallelujah God is just God wants to raise only one person in your family who can change your family Hallelujah praise the living god you know some of us here even our parents knows us even if you 
One day you decide to go to church and say that I have changed. Then you start hearing your parents saying that umebadilika, umeamua kwenda kanisani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe because he knows your deeds. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But you shall stand firm and tell your parents that I have decided because I have known the goodness of this God. I have decided to serve God because I know I have seen what he is doing into unto his people. I have seen the great things that God is doing unto the life of men and women out there. So I have decided to stand firm. I have decided to go back to Jesus. I have decided my life to be revived again. Hallelujah. He is the God of second chance. Praise the living God. He is the God of second chance. He can be able to come back unto you if you shall allow him in your life. He is able to come back unto you if you will be ready, Jesus, to rule your life. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If we are ready, God to use us and to walk with him and to walk according to his word. Then let us run to him and tell God that Jesus I run to you. Praise the living God because whatever you want then God will do it to you if you draw near unto him. Praise God. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kanisa la Wakorinto. Bwana Yesu asifiwe huko nyuma kama unaniona nipungie tu mkono. Haleluya. Haleluya. I want to declare today that no one shall go against the word of God. But you shall stand firm in the word of God. It doesn't matter what you shall go through. It doesn't matter the hardship you shall not go on your way. But I want to tell you today, if you shall stand firm, God will be there for you. Praise God. If you shall stand firm in truth, then God will be there for you. Then God will run unto your life. Amen. If you run to Jesus Christ, then God will run unto you. Because God is not a man to lie. He has no he has never disappointed us. That you see that in the book of Joel, chapter 2, 25. That whatever the devil ate. Now we can see that it is being restored back. That I believe that whatever job lost, he was restored back. Praise the living God. Whatever you lost in life, God will restore back today in the name of Jesus. When you shall cry unto him and say that God... May you restore back my peace. The Lord restore back my ministration. The Lord restore back my family. Then Jesus is able to do it. Praise God. Praise the Lord. God is able to restore back whatever the devil took. He is able to restore back today. When we shall call unto him, until God that Jesus, may you restore back. May you restore back God. Whatever that was taken by the devil. Whatever people took that belongs to me. I declare it back in the name of Jesus. Praise the living God. And we believe in our God. That Jesus is going to restore back. Bwana sifiwe. Miaka yako iliyoliwa na nzige Bwana anarudisha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama ilikuwa imepunguzwa Bwana Yesu anaongeza. Bwana sifiwe. Praise the Lord. You know some of us here here lakini tuko na wasiwasi manake. We believe in witchcraft. Bwana sifiwe. 
You believe in witchcraft so much. You put you put in your trust in witchcraft. Some of us we were told that uh, you don't you shall not read 30 years. One is just a few. So you just walk and say that I shall not read 30 years. But I want to tell you today that you shall pass. One is just a few. Utapita hiyo miaka telatini. One is just a few. Because what a man says, it is not God who has said, but it is a man. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us not believe in things of this world or things of or what men says to us. Praise the Lord. Kila bacho mwanadamu anatuambia let us not believe in that. Because you know that Jesus is there. Who died on the cross because of me and you? Praise the Lord. He is able to deliver us. He is able to elevate us to another glory. Bwana sifiwe. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Men who are here, pray that God may not give you a wife like a wife of Job. Yes. Because he will kill your ministry. Yes. Men, are you listening to me? Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. May you pray that God may give you a wife who can make you to your, who can make your ministry to grow but not a wife who can make your ministry to to fall bwana sifiwe praise the living god Amen. and you know even if men are looking for wives who shall be helping their ministries to grow and we wives we ladies we are standing firm that we need a man who can make us even to grow. We need a man who can make, who can tell me that tomorrow is on a Sunday we are waking up at 3 p.m. That we need to pray. Hallelujah. A man that will be making you to wake up at 3 a.m. and say that it is a time of prayer. The time to fight with the devil. Pray the living God. Praise God. Amen. So men who walk out there, don't think that uh, when you come to Christian Union, there are good wives here. I want to tell you that Nishida Tupu, Bwana Sifiri. Bwana Sifiri. I'm telling you the truth. Praise the living God. Because if a man, you are not able to walk, to wake up at 3 a.m., then you are in trouble. Hallelujah. If you shall not help us to grow, then we are not allowed to be with you. Can you rise up on your feet in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands. I need somebody to pray this morning. <laughs> Where we won't get sick. Where we won't get sick. Where we won't get sick.